Hey, what is up everybody and welcome to a new video. Today I want to talk about a actually the skateboard you see behind me. Super insane skateboards, super insane off-road electric skateboards. I've never seen anything like this before. It's from a website called electroskateboard.de. That's a German website, so most of you guys will not be able to read anything on there. That's why I want to make a video about it. The skater who built it is called Duffman, and you'll find all the links in the description, even as the skateboard, if I find any videos of him. And yeah, definitely go check it out. It's insane what he built here. Look at this. I mean, <laughs> the wheels are the most crazy thing about it. So I, I don't even know how it's possible to make something like this move. So first of all, it's a four-wheel drive. Otherwise, I think it would be super, super hard to make it even move. The fenders on the side, that totally makes sense in my opinion, especially it's an off-road electric skateboard, and especially in Germany or Switzerland, in Europe, let's say Europe, it's raining a lot. Remote controller doesn't look waterproof, so everything here is self-made. I'm not going into like completely into the detail of... So here he is building the axle of the trucks. I feel like or probably was not long enough before, or that was, was that the short one? I'm not 100% sure. We even have bindings on here, and here in the middle, there's the battery. So we have two ESCs for both sides, but they're connected together in the middle to the battery, of course. I mean, there's no other way. The wheels are insane. I've never seen wheels that big on an electric skateboard. I'm a huge fan of this, honestly. Shipping something like this from China is insanely expensive. I don't know if you, if you know, but like, like a bike costs around $600 to ship from China, but overall super, super nice design. Love it. It looks really dirty though. <laughs> oh my gosh, it looks super dirty. So here you can see the dual wesk. So there are two single wesks for each side. So he has actually four of them. The whole connection, everything you can see here is made by himself. Ooh, and here you can see like all the parts he has used. So we have chain drive. Actually here, he just changed out the motors. So here he has the old motors and he changed it to the new ones. And they are definitely bigger than the other ones before. L oh my God, it, this looks insane. This looks insane. Look at this beast. That's an electric skateboard on steroids. <laughs> Holy shit. So I've even found a video of Peter Schunemann, the creator of this board. On this end, it's, it's pretty hard to ride at all. Damn, I love this board. <laughs> Four wheel drive. Like, that's what I'm saying. That's the only way to really go off road. If you want to go off road, you need really, really big wheels and, and, and a lot of power. And wow, he has a lot. Like, the batteries are now a lot bigger. Oh, maybe the batteries were not even on it before. <laughs> I didn't even, I didn't even see that. Like, it's like a, a, a car battery, that's a 12S battery, and made in 2016 and 17. So almost four years ago, actually. Wow, that's when I started off with electric skateboards. Let's, let's see what else we can find. Here we can see how fast he's going. We can see the voltage, the temperature, the distance, the range. <laughs> Duff man or whatever your name is if you see this video, please hit me up. I want to meet you I need to go for a ride with this board and I need to to, to film it myself how you built it This this really is insane uh, Maybe my shoulder I gotta wait a little bit actually. It's still It's still hurting and yeah. Yep. This really is the most insane board I've ever seen You gotta change it to goofy though to make it work for me what? <laughs> Do you see that? <laughs> He's pulling something like. What? Why is he doing this? Ah, to wait, wait, wait. Of course, to to make it to show how how crazy powerful it is. Of course. <laughs> what? Over four hundred ampere. What the heck is going on? This thing is insane, literally. It even has some kind of like suspension, I feel like. You know, with the, like the board is a little bit flexible. You also have the trucks. You have, I think it's double kingpin. I can't really, really see it, but 
Damn, the suspension seems to be really, really good. So here Duffman is saying he has done over 500 kilometers on this board and he broke the trucks. <laughs> How can you imagine if you have big wheels like this, you also need insanely crazy trucks. And the trucks here, honestly, they don't look like they're gonna, they're gonna hold like big wheels like this. Uh, you, will, you will need something different, definitely. Yep, with the fenders on it. Like, I don't like the fenders, but it definitely makes sense. Ah, from far away, it looks good, though. <laughs> Damn. It doesn't seem to be like super heavy. I mean, he could jump with it. <laughs> Did you see that? It, he has smaller batteries on there now. Damn, this board really is insanely crazy. So that's posted in 2016. Looks like that a lot of parts are made by himself. Definitely looks like this though. <laughs> it's definitely still the old motors here. Wait, it already was really, really crazy. <laughs> Fucking love it. In the snow. Damn. Look at the wheels. <laughs> I freaking love it, but... Damn, you have to be a little crazy to do stuff like this. To go riding in the winter. Wait. Is he pulling a car here? I think he's pulling a car. I'm pretty sure it's doing it easy. I've done that before with a new Wolf GT, uh, which also was not a problem. Well, as, as long as you get it rolling first. But here, that's something different. He's pulling it. That's a different level of... I don't think an Evolve board would be able to do this. <laughs> Look at this! <laughs> He's pulling a car with it. Oh my god, I need to meet you, Duff, man. I need to meet you. I'm driving to anywhere in Germany if it needs to be. <laughs> oh my gosh. And he uploaded so many videos. How did I never see this? Like, the light's amazing as well. And that's also posted in 2016, four years ago. Here he broke some wheels. So, that's now, so now we can see how everything started off. He changing the wheels and <laughs> wow he's making all the parts by himself i think he knows about c like that's like the first part that's how cnc works so you cut it pretty much out of of uh, this part and create it into this part uh this, that takes a lot of time <laughs> but really really amazing <laughs> look at this beast so here is how everything started off that was the very very first version with the smaller wheels and also the older trucks that later broke and that was that was the first the first deck he used so that's that's like the mbs deck i think you can buy mbs.com they make whole boards damn with with brakes I, I didn't even know stuff like this existed that's like a mountain board so he pretty much created a mountain board into a, like an electric mountain board, pretty much. So I also know another brand, if you're interested in actually buying something like this. I'm not sure if they ship anything to the USA, but if you're interested in an electric mountain board, you should definitely check out trampaboards.com. I believe they create the best mountain boards in the game really really crazy how he built everything by himself that's the two like four wesks he is using for his board and that's also the only way to get the power you want the chain drive that's something we have seen on the speedboard as well i don't think i think this is all or back then this was maybe the best way to build an electric i mean it's still really good but i feel like personally you need to know a lot about chain drives and how to you know um if you it's just gonna break more i don't think it's anything you can sell for a bigger market in my opinion it would need to be a normal belt drive and uh yeah 
I think we're pretty much done for today. I hope you enjoyed today's video. Tell me in the comments if you want to see more videos like this and tell me what you think about it. I, I'm definitely also interested to build my own electric skateboard. I'm going to do it soon in this week. I just pretty much had no time. Honestly, I had a lot of troubles. Uh, I right now have some kind of weird stuff on my arm. I don't know. It's getting red one day and the next day it's good again. And also I have problems with my shoulders. I can't really ride. Um, and when I start to build stuff, it's it's starting to hurt, but it's getting better. Like every day, it's getting better a little bit. And also something I want to film a whole video about, that's a uh, right favor. Like when I was in San Diego <laughs> two years ago, I met someone, Chinese. He, uh, he was pretty good in speaking English. Um, so what happened is he took all the money, long story short, do not buy anything on there. I'm not sure if he's gonna ship out any boards. So that's why do not buy anything on there, please. I'm working on new brands, eSkate Europe, eSkate USA. That's, that's what I'm doing myself, 100%. It belongs 100% to me, to a company that I have here in Switzerland. And uh, yeah, that's pretty much it for today. I hope you enjoyed and we'll see each other hopefully in the next video. Yeah, I'm gonna stand on electric skateboards again. Just not for not for now. I'll maybe need a couple days, you know. <laughs> Alright, see you guys soon. Bye bye.